morning everybody and welcome to a brand new vlog. The vlog this week is coming from the Maldives. <laughs> we decided it was about time to take a little break together and so we've checked in at the Conrad Maldives. Now if any of you guys have been here long enough you will remember we came along to Conrad about seven years ago, almost seven years ago to the exact week actually. I was looking back at pictures yesterday on Instagram and notice the date on them. It's almost to the exact week, maybe just a couple of days later. And it's always been, because I get asked the question a lot, where would you recommend in the Maldives? I've been to a number of places now. It might be about 10, maybe 12 different resorts, because there was one time when I did three in one trip, another time I did two in one trip. So I've, I think I've been to about 12 different resorts and I'd always give people like a top three. I'd be like, top three, here, here and here. And Conrad was always in this list. We had the most amazing time here. The Conrad is always, is also quite a special one for us because it was the trip that we took right before Alex started working with me. And it was on this trip, I was invited to come along. I said to Alex, as my boyfriend at the time, do you wanna come with me to the Maldives? I'd love it if you could take my pictures for me. I really need some help, get some beautiful content. And it was on that trip that we were like, let's make this like a full-time thing. Why don't you join me? Let's do this together. So Alex has now been working with me for seven years which is amazing. We are back again, but we've woken up this morning to the most glorious, beautiful weather. The sun is just hitting the ocean. And this beautiful, like, 9 a.m. weather. It's absolutely glorious. Everything is so still. It is just beautiful today. It's a little tiny beetle. I mean, you might see him. There he is. There he is. Can you see him? Can you see him? And he just patrols up and down. Up and down. Oh, there he is again. There he is again. Up and down. So currently we have a wonderful jacuzzi in the back of our villa. Staying in one of the Grand Water Villas here at Conrad. But halfway through this trip we're going to be moving to the Grand Water Villa with a pool, which also has a pool in the back. So we're having kind of like a mix of both. Let me bring you inside. Actually see a little better. I'm, I'm going to give you a bit of a tour of the place. Um, in fact, what I thought I'd do though is give you a tour of the Grand Water Villa with a pool because they're going to be very, very similar. I thought let's just get cracking with the vlog and then when the room is nice and tidied again because we've just woken up, obviously it's a little bit messy, I want to show you it all perfect so I can do that because right now everything is rather strewn everywhere. We're about to go for some breakfast. My favourite meal of the day, especially when you are away somewhere tropical like this because it's all about the fruits and the kind of fruits that we don't really get back home or in the UK everything is just not ripe and delicious and juicy like it is when you come to somewhere like this so that's why usually my diet when I'm in the Maldives is mangoes, melons and watermelon. So before we go down to breakfast let me show you today's breakfast look. I'm still loving my hair so much. Also, all the people on my TikTok who were like, it's the same, you're still blonde. I was like, are you, are you, what? Are you flipping joking? It's so dark. Like, yeah, these bits are blonder, but it's so dark in comparison. I, I, I was really quite baffled by it, but whatever, <laughs> never mind. So yeah, loving my hair for the trip. And today's outfit is also a paid for advertorial with Tommy Hilfiger. So I'm very, very excited and thrilled to be working with Tommy Hilfiger on this video. They have just given me some really gorgeous beach wear to bring on this trip as part of their new summer collection. Alex is wearing Tommy as well. He's got some incredible shirts. I think any guys that are watching are gonna really, really love. But yeah, this is my Tommy beach look. So for today, for today, the morning, this really beautiful swimsuit. So this is a full swimsuit, but I love, so just, you know, this this kind of bodysuit with the Tommy Hilfiger logo going all over on this. A really low, gorgeous V cut, really lovely material. And because of the colors, you can kind of wear it with everything. And I say everything because that's practically what everything I brought on this trip is either blue, neutral, black or white. <laughs> so the shorts actually I've turned up so the shorts actually come like this, which actually I really, I do like them like this. Maybe I might leave them like this. I just turned them up before because I was like, oh, maybe, maybe they look cool with a little cuff. Yeah, so these are the shorts. So they're quite a lovely, more elongated length. A really lovely pair of light blue denim. They're really comfortable. They're not that thick, heavy denim that you just wouldn't want in a hot country. <laughs> they're a fantastic shade of blue. The little Tommy flag is just on here and on the bum as well. 
fantastic pair of shorts. And then over top, I just love cover-ups. Whenever I'm on trips, I just love a really gorgeous cover-up. And this is an oversized blue and white pinstripe shirt. Again, the Tommy flag just here, really lovely breast pocket. And then down here on the edging, the seam, is a Tommy Hilfiger uh, logo there. But it's just one of those fantastic pieces you can just throw over top. So that's what I was gonna do for breakfast. This would also look fantastic just over this swimsuit alone without the shorts, but I'm going for breakfast and you're not allowed to just go in a swimsuit. So I thought I'd put the shorts on. These sort of shirts, I also just like to, you know, pull together, tie them in a little bow if you want to. Again, just to mix up the style if you don't want it to be long. I just feel if you just get a shirt that's just a little bit more oversized and longer, you can just do anything with it. You can style it up any way that you want. You know, you can make it work as an overshirt or as a cute little tiny shirt. You could tuck this in as well, button it up. There's lots of different possibilities of how you can use it, but mainly just to cover up from the sun is perfect for me. I don't really like to expose myself too much to the sun because I burn and there's just no point. So I have just tanned. I've got a brand new Sandra Pay tan on. Let me show you, because a lot of you always ask me. Looks whipped creme mousse. Is still my absolute favourite. I mean, there's so many Sandra Pay. I can, I can swap and change between all of them, but for something that's a little deeper on me that will last me a good five to seven days, it looks a bit creme mousse. And then I put, I mean, I do also have the serum with me as well. I will likely put this on in about three days after I just put on this tan last night. About three days time, I'll probably put this on just for like extra hydration. It's obviously got the hyaluronic acid and whatnot, but also just to kind of boost the tan up a little bit. Um, and then this one is the one that I put on my face. This is the bronzing gel, Self Tan Express bronzing gel. There are specific things to put on your face from Saint Tropez, but I just really love this. It doesn't break me out and I, it's tried and tested for me. So this is the one I like because it's a jelly. It's a bit more easy to work into the skin and rub into the skin and you can see it because of the color of it. So you know where you've missed. Do you know what I mean? And then for my hands, where's Alex put it? Alex loves this for his face, just for like a really simple tan. Um, the Purity Water Mist. Spray that on my hands. I used to spray this on my face, but my, honestly, my eyebrows are a nightmare. They just pick up tan so much. They've already picked up last night's tan, so they're already feeling a bit ginger, but sod it. It's, I'll live, I'll live, I'll get over it. Um, and then today, where are my sunglasses? He found them, thanks babe. Our buggy just arrived, so I don't want to be late. Tommy Hilfiger sunglasses. I think these are such a fantastic shape. They're so cool, like retro. Love these. And then today's shoes, I'm gonna go with these little shoes. They do have a toe post, but I can tell you, they're comfortable. If you know me well. You know, I'm not always a fan of the toe post because they rub my little feet and I struggle a bit, but these are really, really comfy because of the big fabric band. Oh, I just love that you can just go down to breakfast. You don't have to, you don't have to make much effort. You all right, husband? There you go. Have you found the card key? Yeah. Right. So, okay, I'm ready. Right, let's go. So underneath these bridges, often you see like manta rays. Like last time we were here, we saw loads of manta rays. I like it here. I think this is my favorite restaurant, my favorite um, breakfast spot. Why is that? I just really love how it's literally on the edge of the ocean. Like this is like idyllic, mm. isn't it? So nice. I mean, honestly, look at this. Look at this spot for breakfast. Did you see as well that that's where the boat comes into, just there? So that's what we can get. So we could get the, so there's a little boat. It's a really gorgeous like wooden boat and it goes from that side of the, that island over to just here, the little docks here. So, you know, you can, we could technically, instead of getting the buggy, we could have got the little boat over this morning. I think we do that next time. Okay. Just for experience. I mean, oh, this is just, this is my favourite kind of thing where you just sat on the ocean 
eating your avocado toast, having a mango smoothie. It's my idea of heaven. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Okay, should we go inside and get some fruit now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at this coffee I've got. Watermelon juices, I've got more watermelon. Banana bread. Peach. Here we go. Maldivian fish. You Are you go. going to eat Game that? One. Start the day. Nope. <laughs> Are you really? Oh, I thought, you, I thought you'd do it. If I it's put into sauce it. form, I will. The other day, oh, yeah, before, we, before we left for, uh, for the Maldives, we had like an evening and Alex cooked padron peppers. But also, what did you cook on the side of it? I can't, but it's delicious. Is that pasta, mate? Oh my God. Alex cooked the most fantastic like ragu pasta with, um, with fake meat. It was delicious, but then he made he made a bowl of padron peppers with salt on, which I love, and you which love. which we love, and we have heard that like one in like a hundred thousand or something padron peppers is like a killer. Alex literally got the killer of all killer padron peppers. It was like eating a ghost pepper or something, <laughs> and I can. I mean, this this is this is spicy, but I is love it? hot food. Like hot you food, do. I love hot sauce. I swear to God, <laughs> I felt like it burned a hole in the side of my throat. <laughs> I'm just so glad it was you and not me. I'm sorry, babe, but that would I you would, would have not. Been in agony. I would have been in agony. Yeah. I couldn't have stomached that. It was hot. I remember being like, "It's got a kick," and I was like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> it just took you out, full on KO, wasn't it? And I was like, "Oh." <laughs> And then I didn't want to touch the rest of Padron, just no, in case. No, I was pretty scared after Just in that. case there's another. But then again, it had to have been so, such a coincidence. Hey guys. I don't even know what day we are on currently, but it is just blissful today. Oh, it's, it is also very, very bright. This beautiful blue sky has just appeared. We're just about to have some food on the beach. So we're sat here in the quiet zone. So we are literally over in one of those huts over there. And then just here, this is like an infinity pool, again, like child free. So it's a really quiet area. We just wanted to come here and spend the whole afternoon just having food and having margaritas and just chilling out. That's one of the seaplanes just dropping off. It just looks so good. Look at all those layers. Oh my gosh. I have this little Mediterranean salad. We're just having such a wonderful, such a wonderful day today. It's just so nice just coming here and chilling out. What a treat. <laughs> Mm, look at that feta and olives. Where are we going? Ooh. We have got this entire beach and this pool to ourselves. That was such a good day. I'm going to pull this sun lounger into the shade. Where is the shade? Oh, the shade's over here. Back to the room and I just really quickly an outfit shot before we lose light in my new Holland Cooper pieces. In honesty, I feel we've almost run out of the blazer. I think the blazer is almost sold out completely, but I I love it. I mean, look, look at that incredible drape and fit. It's just absolutely stunning. Over the top of the beautiful white dress. So this has the gold straps and little VM on there. You can take that off, by the way. That does come off if you don't want to have my initials on it. And you can swap these to silver if you also buy the black dress, which has the silver straps, so they're like interchangeable. But it's just the most gorgeous, flattering shape. It gives me this beautiful, um, slight pear shape. Not completely, but it just kind of goes over my hips and splays out, which is really, really lovely. Really pretty little leg split. Yeah, I want to just get a real outside, walking along in this beautiful outfit. Also wearing this exquisite ball of green necklace as like a little extra. Um, and that's it, like no shoes, no bag, just about the outfit because I don't want us to lose any light. So this is what I'm gonna wear for tonight. But by the time we go out for dinner, there'll be no light. So gotta shoot when there's some light. Oh guys, I just love this look. Look at you, let me see your outfit. I thought I'd make an effort tonight. <laughs> Talk me through this little Tommy Hilfiger outfit. It's so nice, Tommy isn't it that? Hilfiger. It's like a creamy shade. You can't really yeah, tell us much really in this nice. light. It's like I a creamy put on shade. Some swimming shorts, just in case I want to go swimming. <laughs> I'm in comfort zone right now. I know now. you are, you're on holiday mode. Let me see the t-shirt a bit better. Yeah, it is really nice, this isn't it? So this is like an embroidered hill figure in in light blue. Yeah, I thought it was printed when I picked it up, but no, it's all. With a little patch. And then your favourite hats. I do love these Carhartt hats, they're <laughs> really cute. I love fish hats, love they them so much, really I bought cute. them in every colour. But show us the swim trunks, Sam. Oh, they're they're great. I like how, I like the length of them. 
they're not like speedos. I don't like but the shorts that board like shorts. down here. No. I like, I like them when they're like... I mean, the cool board shorts, but I, I, I like these more on you. I think these are more fetching for you, don't you think? I do. Very fetching. They look really, really good. Are you going to wear your Tommy slides? Yeah. Where are they? You got sand in them. <laughs> You've been wearing these all day, actually, haven't you? Yeah, they're really nice. I mean, what is this? Is it like a... Yeah, it's kind of like um, a rubber feel. Real nice. Like really I'll hand thing. you little toes in case anyone's a bit grossed out by toes. Manchester. Toes. Oh, <laughs> I got twos. We're going to head out for dinner. We're booked in at the Sunset Grill, which is over the water on stilts. I'm actually really, really hungry. Oh, it's just so nice. This is the walk down the jetties to dinner. Are you excited about Sunset Grill? Yeah, what do you fancy? Do you reckon you're going to get grilled something? Maybe. Probably some, maybe one thing grilled. <laughs> oh, maybe this is our buggy. So you, what you do is you call a little buggy and they come and get you. The clouds make it. Without the clouds, you don't get the drama. Am I the drama? Wow, so this is Sunset Grill. And everyone sort of sat out over there. This is just stunning. Little amusy moosey bushies. Which good. So down here, the, the, so, ooh. so the lights here, there's an underwater restaurant underneath there. We're in a really nice little spot here. It's really romantic. We have three breads to choose from with some dipping things. Crab meat, some kind of nice jus. <laughs> We've got calamari. I mean, Look at those shadows. Oh, that's good. Nice shadows, <laughs> darling. Right, on to dish number two. And I've got the scallops. Alex has a little tiny chicken. <laughs> Yummies. That looks delicious. What is it, pineapple? Spicy pineapple. Spicy pineapple. Spicy. Tart with mango ice cream. My favourite thing. I've had. I've also had two mango smoothies. Honestly, mango. The mangoes here are like a dream. Okay, we're checking in to our new room. Ooh. Ooh. It's the same layout, but back to front. So now we have the grand villa with the pool. Okay, this is amazing. I thought the jacuzzi was great, but this is the dream. Put a couple of lamps in. <laughs> One. One. <laughs> Two. Fans oh, <fine>, down. <laughs> We've got a slightly different viewpoint now. We're looking over. So this is the, see so here you can see that the bridge over to the other island. And that's where over there's the quiet zone area. Bit more of a tour then, whilst it's all nice and clean and Alex hasn't put his stuff everywhere. So this is a great living room area. So it's like this. Welcoming area with a sofa and a little desk. We've got the mini bar in here. Nice little stocked fridge with alcohol and chocolate and things. Obviously they're like extras, but still. TV, so we've been using the TV to play like YouTube songs. So we've got some music. And then the bathroom is like a his and hers sink with these big illuminated mirrors, which is great. I am sorry, I'm not looking all that fabulous right now, but still. Ooh, little Tommy Hilfiger hat on. My friends always say that I don't suit hats, but I'm trying to make it work for me. Alex is currently showing off the bathroom in here with this enormous bath. Will you get inside the bath to show a bit of context of size, please, husband? Thank you. <laughs> Enormous bath. I mean, look, it's that's literally that's bigger than the jacuzzi in the last space. It's that big. It's yeah. really beautiful. Though. I love these tiles. Um, and then here you have a big shower. So that's just so nice. And there's a door that comes in from the outside straight into here. So you don't have to get out the pool and walk into the main area. You can walk straight into the shower room. Bathroom is in there, and through here. You go through this little corridor into the bedroom and it's just such a big comfortable bed. Big bed, it's also got its own air conditioning system inside the bedroom if you want it cooler or warmer than the rest of the place. And then just these huge windows to look out and admire the view, pretty much. TV if you want it, little seating area. And there's more wardrobe space in here. Shark, can you see him? Come back, come back, come back, come back. There he is. Right, let's start unpacking because I'm really excited to get this room like really tidy. I just want all of our stuff away in the, in the wardrobe so that there's nothing here. My, my cleanliness is 
cooking in. We have had such a fantastic afternoon. We've just loved it. Just lying out on the beach. So in fact, when did I last see you? I just realised, I don't know if I actually filled you in on what we were doing before we checked into this place. So we spent the whole day on the beach while Alex did some snorkelling. Sorry, I am steaming up again. Alex was snorkelling while I was chilling on the beach. Came back to our new villa, unpacked. The place looks fantastic now. I'm still steaming up. I'm really steaming up here. And then I've just been getting ready. I've just done a full face of NARS makeup. Their brand new foundation. I think it's called the Light Perfecting Foundation. Look at my skin. And the new soft matte powder is exceptional. I've not found, I find it hard to find powders that are really something else and that is magnificent. I'm obsessed with it now. So yeah, full face of NARS. I've likely put the whole thing on my Instagram. The lipstick, by the way, is Surrender. NARS Surrender. We're heading out for some dinner in tonight's look, which is again, Tommy Hilfiger. Let me find somewhere to show you. Babe, can you can you come and film my outfit? In fact, let's film you first because you look absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, this outfit, your hottie. Talk us through your look. It's all Tommy Hilfiger. It's a blue shirt with some almost cream white pants. They fit like a dream, don't a they? Bit, I wouldn't normally go for pants this tight. But I think they look fantastic. Like I think genuinely think that you look yeah, I like the so shirt, though, gorgeous, like really babe. It's like linen. Yeah, it's a really gorgeous linen, deep blue linen. Little Tommy logo here. You just sort of tucked one side, left it really quite open and flowing because it's Show the tattoos. very hot. <laughs> um, very warm, you've just so. done up the sleeves, just give it a bit more shape. And then, yeah, these, they're like a pair of like skinny chinos. Yeah, they're quite they're, stretchy though as they're well. They're fantastic, honestly. Yeah. The This look, wow. Okay, turn around, let's, let, let's see the back. Let's see the back. Ooh, it's really nice how it drapes. Ooh, hello. <laughs> nice, isn't it? Yeah, honestly. Wow. What's the stuff I've been using on my hair? You look Larry's. amazing. Yeah. So <laughs> Alex, bless him, he forgot to bring his entire wash bag of products. So he didn't have anything with him. Nothing. No hair I'm stuff. I'm really missing my fragrances no. as well. Oh, your fragrances. I was going to bring the Armani Privé Dancer as well. Oh, you've not got any fragrances. So I'm wearing perfume on this trip. Sorry, babe. You can wear my nasty Sir Rodriguez then, I'm sorry. Good, so Alex has been using my hair stuff, so on his hair he's been using the Larry King Volumizing Mist. It smells like rosemary. It's so good. Earlier he said to me, what was that amazing Larry product that smells like food? It's got that really like herby... Yeah, rosemary. Herby, yeah, it's beautiful. Rosemary but, and lavender. But then what's the stuff that you use for flyaways? The Social Life Cream. That's incredible. It's amazing. So I spray the, the um, what's it called first? The mist. I spray the mist in, then I hair dry it, and then I just put a load of that on my hair. On your rub hands. Rub it through mm. onto my hands, and then rub it through, and then I spray like hair, this is like really rogue, but I've done this since I was a kid. I spray hairspray into the palm of my hand, and then like put that through, and it just like adds like instant like texture to my yeah. hair. So when, when I was Looking a kid, great. when I had like long hair, if, you ever, if I ever washed it, it would be like, like a helmet on my head. <laughs> So I have to spray hairspray and just like rub it through my hair and it almost gives you that like two day old hair. It's a really good sense. idea. Tips. And I am wearing this really pretty dress. It's such a great like summer dress. Like this would be great for garden parties at home as well to be fair. What's great about tonight is it's somewhat overcast so it's not so hot. Um, so this, this is really, really great. It's like a thick cotton linen feel. If you can see, I don't know if you can see a bit more of the texture. It's like a thick linen. Mm. feel and it's a full wrap dress so it wraps all the way around so I've got this cute little bow detail wraps across the front with this kind of tulip skirt it's just really pretty it's a really pretty piece and then I'm wearing I've chipped my toenail I'm, I'm actually booked in to see uh, Miss Susie Bernaldi after we get home from this trip we're so going, am I we're going around to Josie's you are we're going over to Josie's for a, the, um, a coronation party all those girls and guys and Susie's like right I'm doing everybody's nails so I was like can I have my toenails done so you're doing my toenails she's doing your hands you're gonna have like a lovely male manicure I think she's doing Josie's hands and Amelia's hands but anyway so I've got my cute little honestly these are really comfy I have I've spoken to you guys so much I know about how much I hate toe post sandals because they always rub but that's because usually they're plastic whereas because these are fabric they're almost like a really soft um they almost feel a bit velvety but they're a cotton little Tommy Hilfiger logo on them really comfortable so yeah so we're just like a little Tommy couple tonight aren't we <laughs> how cute are we so that was our first filler and now we're in 409 we're just going to walk down to 
the beach. We want to take some cute couple shots. So we're heading down to the beach before we lose too much light. On the first night we were here, which I didn't didn't film, we didn't realise how early the sun was set. It's around island time as well. Yeah. Well, yeah, but even, not, even without island time, I thought the sun would be setting about eight because it is at home, but obviously we're not in the same part of the hemisphere. Got that massively wrong. And we literally headed out after the sun set thinking, oh, it's still bright. And then it was like darkness. So we had to take these pictures of me. I think I had like a five minute window. He did. It was very stressful. It was very stressful. We are holidaying on this trip. I just put up a, um, an Instagram actually of me dancing around in the jacuzzi earlier. That was actually earlier this morning. Um, I just put up an Instagram earlier actually saying we're having a holiday. This is technically a holiday. Although we have, we do have a few things that we're shooting. But in my, in my mind, I plan this as a holiday and I intend to switch off. The point is to switch off and I am. The difference would be if I was to come along and bring an enormous campaign, for example, one time we went to Mar Mauritius. Oh, it was Mauritius, yeah. Mauritius and we took with us, stupidly took with us, a, a Clarins campaign. And it was like shots that we needed to that were going in stores and boots. And yeah. I was basically shooting a whole campaign by myself. Yeah. It's probably the most stressful thing I've ever done in my and life. And honestly, thinking back on it, I should have asked for so much more for that trip because we literally shot our own ca a full campaign that would have cost the team tens of thousands in photographers, stylists, hairstylists, makeup artists, um, lighting assistants, travel, um, paying on the travel were actually we paid for the whole thing. Well, we actually did it over and two shot trips, that whole campaign. We took half of it to. Um, um, yeah, we did. Malaysia. Malaysia as well. So we shot it over two of our own trips, and we got so much content. And I had to stick to a brief that was like a picture like this, a picture like this, a picture like this, yeah. and then that becomes stressful because there's no creative freedom. I can't just do lovely pictures that I, was I really on like. Natural light for all of it as well. Obviously, I didn't didn't have the knowledge of flash and yeah, true. anything back then. So it was a massive learning. Curve. I mean, it was a great learning curve, but huge learning curve. Yeah. But we know now. <laughs> You know, like, and also, like, I would never do that now because I know now, <laughs> you know, what um, I should or shouldn't be doing um, and what kind of help we need or don't need. But that, that meant that that trip became an absolute stress and wasn't a holiday in the slightest. I remember just bit. going for like dinner, like, at the end of the day and just being so burnt out. Burnt out yeah. and just Because we were having drinking. to shoot all your content. Yeah. Didn't we? We were having to shoot all your stuff. All your stuff on top of it as well. Yeah. So it was just... And we shot so much content. In fact, we also had Bulgari campaigns to shoot there. I mean, there's absolute loads of it. We did. Anyway, anyway, we have a couple of lovely things to shoot, but they're not super prescriptive and they're with brands that I'm in love with. It's just content that I'm going to enjoy shooting. It's not, you know, it's not stressing us out. No. Which is the big, di big difference. That is going to be... Let's go down here. Oh, look at this, guys. Absolutely idyllic. So my point is, as much as we're working with some wonderful brands on this trip and taking pictures and posting, um, the headspace is different. I'm feeling, re I'm feeling relaxed and I'm feeling rejuvenated. And me and Alex are also making sure that even if we're, sh if we're shooting for like two hours in a day, that the other 14 hours of the day, we're together, we're relaxing, we're having fun together. It's just a very different headspace. And so we're, um, yeah, we're honestly having like the best time. So don't worry, I promise you we are holidaying, even though you've probably seen so much of my content on Instagram <laughs> of all the pictures we've been taking, but I'm very happy, I promise. <laughs> a rather beautiful dinner spot that you probably just can't quite can't quite see but we're, we're sat just on the on the shore we're sat just on the shoreline and it's like a really gorgeous breeze coming in so it's like cooling us down it's really really nice plus the breeze will hopefully mean there's slightly less mosquitoes but it's beautiful it's just on the very edge of the shore and I'm definitely going to order the Maldivian fish curry. I can't see it on the menu. Oh yes, it wasn't even on the menu. 
but I asked if they could do a Maldivian fish curry and they were like absolutely no problem so they made me this and what have you got? Butter chicken. Butter chicken. I don't know what this is but it looks hot. Mm. You want to try it? That looks delicious. No thank you. I will stick with mine. Morning! Oh, must admit I didn't sleep amazingly well. There was a storm last night, like quite a big storm and I get so paranoid in these situations obviously we're like over water I start to have all of these Im imaginative ideas that, you know, the villa is somehow going to like get blown off its stilts and we're going to end up in the water. It's absolutely ridiculous. But, you know, I start worrying about it and I'm like, what if the water gets too high because there's too much rain and then it comes in and... Oh, so silly. And then you wake up in the morning, finally. And it's beautiful again and it's fine and the water level is the same level and it's all fine. These guys outside. Yeah. So anyway, I'm gonna get myself ready. We're just gonna quickly go to breakfast. I brought my apple cider vinegar gummies with me. Mm -mm -mm. My cleanser has almost run out. I'm losing, I'm using every last morsel of this. Zedo, Dr. Ibaji, exfoliating cleanser. I love it. Ooh, just a little bit. I only, you only need such a small amount. And that's why that might, I might be able to get that to work. There's these tiny little exfoliating soap beads that explode. They don't explode, but like, open up just enough but this is my favorite cleanser because i just feel like it actually like it really works for me it feels a little bit exfoliating i just feel like i'm properly cleaning my skin whenever i use it yeah see now my face is just clean just clean it's but it's not squeaky it just feels like my face but with like a layer of just rubbish gone takes off all of my like evening products get that from my dermatologist and her and her clinic, Atelier Aesthetics in London. This is brand new to Clay de Poe, by the way. This is their new SPF 50 UV protective cream, super high protection, and it is lovely. So this is what I've been wearing every day as my SPF on my face. Just a really lovely cream. And it just gives you so much glow. Get a really good amount on there. Oh, it feels amazing. It feels like silk literally like silk when you apply it and you can you see that like glow Whew. they've launched the matching lip balm which is spf 30 and again it is divine honestly my brow my brows are so ginger line my lips a tiny bit oh gosh i am looking so glowy now nars precision lip liner in vents 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 just to give them some actual shape for some colour. I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I love this. This is the stick blush in Nectar. It's so pretty. Just for a little bit of colour over the top of that SPF. Beautiful. And then put the lips and that's it. That's all I need. These are the only, these are the only perfumes I brought for the trip. My little Narcisa Rodriguez. So this is the pure musk. This is the musk noir. You can wear them separately or you can layer them. Personally, I love them layered. But for like day wear, I just go for pure musk. It just smells like a clean body with this really lightweight musk smell. It's just, it's just like, it's sensational. Musk Noir is a lot more kind of like sexier and more kind of night timey so that I'd layer that over the top. For now, I'll just tuck my hair back, put on my Tommy Hilfiger sunnies. So cool. Yeah, I love these, they're so retro. Perfect with this outfit. I decided I'm gonna put on some shorts. Just in case it does look, it does look rather windy outside. So maybe it's a breeze and maybe I need some little shorts. I'm gonna wear these. Just so lovely, these are a pair of Tommy Hill figures and they do actually come with a matching, a matching shirt with these two. A really simple, easy beige pair. They're just like linen, flowy, and they've got a defined cuff line. So you can pull these up and just give them little turn ups. Mm -mm -mm. Pockets. There is also a matching shirt for this and they're so lovely together in fact let me show you that whilst i'm getting waiting for this buggy to come well look how lovely that is it's like a little overshirt it's so perfect for me as soon as i saw it in the lookbook i was like oh. absolutely love it the color's perfect this is really light linen beige tone like that looks so nice also bearing in mind the fact that this has been in my suitcase it's only got a tiny bit of creasing there otherwise it's and the shorts are crease free Maybe these are crease-free linens. All right, then I'll wear this. So I'll wear this for breakfast because it's so nice. I'm really coming around to the fact that I like baseball caps for on holiday. Okay. 
breakfast time it is. Okay, so on with the day. We had a really lovely breakfast. Just some fruit and pancakes with peanut butter. I've just done a full face really quickly because we have been shooting this Tommy look. In fact, we've been doing like a couples reel, which is mega cute because um, yeah, Tommy's working with me and with Alex which is so cool. I mean, Tommy Hilfiger is just such a cool brand. So um, yeah, we're really, really proud of it. So we've just filmed a really sweet little kind of getting dressed into two different outfits real outside, took some pictures for it. So yeah, so that's all done. So that's like work ticked off for the day. And because it's bank holiday, there's no one even to edit it anywhere. So, cause everyone's off. So we're just gonna now just go enjoy the rest of the day. So it's good, like, like I said yesterday, in fact, let me sit down a second and chat with you. So I mentioned about the fact that I just put up the reel, mentioning the fact that a while back, Susie and Josie, we had this conversation and I was in a really kind of bad mental place and I was like, my marriage is struggling. I'm really struggling to keep up with all this work. And I'm in this moment where I'm just feeling so unfulfilled and I'm like, what am I doing this for? What is the point of working so hard if I'm not then enjoying the benefits of that? And they literally turned to me and was like, right, why are you working yourself so hard that you're burning out? Like, why are you doing this? And I kind of sat there and I was thinking about it. And I was like, right, okay, no one's really asked me that before. And I was like, okay, uh, why am I doing it? And I said, I guess when I'm older, I want to be able to take like regular holidays. I'd love to be able to take two holidays a year. You know, that's, that's what I would deem like a comfortable, lovely life to be able to take two holidays a year with my husband. Which I know in the grand scheme of things isn't loads, but that, that to me would make me really happy to be able to do that. But anyway, so they, so they literally were like, well, Vic, why the hell are you not taking any holidays now? Like, why are you not enjoying your life now? Just because you're thinking about when you're older, you're gonna, you know, then you're gonna reap the benefits. And literally, the amount of people that have told me in the past, oh, stop working so hard, take holidays, like, why are you doing this? And I would always be like, I know, I know. And it got kind of boring to hear it. And I was like, you know, I've, I've got this passion and I've got this kind of goal that I'm going for. And it was only when they said it to me that I was like, yeah, shit, why am I not taking holidays now? Why am I not enjoying life now? Why am I almost waiting? It's almost like I'm allowing my life to be a little bit unfulfilling up until the point where I'm old enough. I don't even know when that is. What, 40s, 50s, 60s? Why am I waiting until I'm a bit older to be able to then enjoy life? And it like hit me like a ton of bricks as soon as he said it. And it's the first time that anyone has been able to really get into my psyche and like switch something. And it seems like such a simple conversation, but for some reason it really triggered me. And I was like, guys, like, yeah, no one's ever put it like that before. It was just the way they'd put it. It was simple, it, I understood it. And my mind was like, what am I doing? Anyway, so I put up this reel yesterday and it, that was literally a moment where I put on that song, so the song from the reel, this song by Yellow Wolf, it's like my super happy song. I listened to it last year when we came to the Maldives. Like I listen to it in the car all the time and I sing along, it just makes my heart like sing. So we had that on, I was playing it loud in the villa and I, and I kind of, Alex was on the sun lounger and I ran past him and I jumped into the jacuzzi and started swinging my hair around and he was just record, he started recording me. And then afterwards he's like, that's really, that was a really sweet little video. And it was just like a, an organic moment, a normal moment of me just feeling so on top of the world and happy. So I edited it up, put it into Instagram with, with this message of, you know, this is what happened. This is what the girls said to me and this is why. I decided to come on this trip and take and take my holidays. Like for example, me and Alex are going away soon again to Copenhagen with friends, and that's like completely non-work. And it's things like this, like booking in things, booking trips ahead of time, so that we have something to look forward to and we know we have quality time together coming up. So yeah, so anyway, the comments on that post have been unreal. It seems like a lot of people are feeling exactly the same. They're feeling almost unfulfilled. They're also waiting for something that might not even come. And some of the comments have been absolutely, like, really emotional from people. Oh, God, I'm getting emotional thinking about it. Some people saying, you know, like, my, my mum and dad were waiting to retire and they were, like, making all this money so that when they could retire they would then have this wonderful life and then my dad passed away last year at like 62 or um, another lady was saying that her partner had died and another person was saying you know my friend passed away at 52 and it's just like it's really 
pushing this point that we absolutely need to like live for today like why are we not like me and Alex are mid 30s it's probably the best our bodies are ever going to be it's you know amazing part of our marriage time we are working hard and making money that we can spend on trips like why the hell are we not like living life to the fullest because my my nan and granddad again worked so hard and my nana passed away at 70 after they were like so excited about going on all these trips and going on cruises and enjoying life and she passed away at 70. And so they never got to kind of enjoy that part of their life together. And it sent my granddad into a depression for about 20 years until he then passed away. Sorry. Ooh. Sorry. So I've just really, at this point, it's just really hit me that I need to stop living for tomorrow and actually, like, focus on today and make it the most of every single moment. Whew. And it's something as well that I'd love to kind of really get my mum to think about. I always worry that my mum isn't living life to the fullest and obviously she's in her 60s. And I feel like I'd love to get her to do a lot more of this too, but then I'm not even doing it myself. So, yeah, going forward... It's all about actually enjoying life, saying no to more things that I don't want to do. Even things like me and Alex this morning were chatting about fashion month and we were saying how excited we are, but I was like, do you know what? I'm not going to do as many shows. Doing a lot of shows at Fashion Week is a mental toll. It's exhausting. It takes a lot mentally and physically to do it back to back to back. And so I'm not doing it this year. As, as amazing as it is to be invited to all these shows, I'm just going to have to suck it up and go to the things I love the absolute most and just apologise to any brands that invite me that, that maybe I feel like you guys aren't as excited about, for example. And just don't, like, kill myself for, you know, just to get a picture in a, an outfit. You know, when it comes to Fashion Week, there's such a thing of, like, oh, she didn't get invited to this show or she didn't get invited to that show. And it's like, I don't care. I don't care anymore. I don't care if you got to go to X, Y, and Z show that I didn't go to. Like, doesn't matter. Like, what is that doing for my life, my marriage, my bank balance? I'm putting myself and Alex first from now on so much more. It's really, it's really, really hit me now. Who's to say I even make it to 40? Who's to say Alex even makes it to 40? I mean, touch wood, hopefully, to God, that doesn't happen. But who's to say? And we have no idea. Like, nothing is promised. Anyway, sorry, this has been a long, a long chat. But there is, there is one other thing, though, because I know a few of you will be like, well, Victoria, you're working on this trip. And... Complete, and that's what I was trying to say about yesterday. Yeah, we're, we're doing a couple of things for the hotel because they've given us a slight discount to stay here. So I'm doing a couple of posts to say thank you for the hotel. Um, I've also brought a couple of jobs to do here, but they're all things that I would, I want to wear and I want to show off anyway. I'd be wearing them anyway. And if it means that me and Alex can just spend an hour taking some pictures and spend the rest of the day laying down and doing nothing, then, you know, for me mentally, that's really good. That's really, really good for me. So I know my limits and I know what pushes me past the point of enjoyment. Um, and for me, I'm feeling good. We've, we've just talked about it and it's how it's what we can both do but still feel like we're enjoying ourselves. So actually, as of today, which is only our third day, we have four more days. We have four more days after this and the work is done. And so now we can really enjoy the next few days but we've already enjoyed the last few days. You know, it's it all depends how I'm mentally thinking about the work. If the work feels laborious, then it feels like work. If the work feels a bit more enjoyable and, you know, I'm passionate about it, then it doesn't feel like work. I know it might, might seem odd, but it's because I'm so passionate about this job. The work and the life very much intertwine and it's difficult, so it all depends on how I mentally manage how I'm feeling about the work. But yeah, so that's why for some people who are like, oh, but you're still working, I'm also very much holidaying and from now on it's all about the holidaying. <laughs> We've decided we are going to the quiet zone again. We just really like it there. It's nice and chilled. Um, I've just quickly French plotted my hair both sides to get it out of my way. I'm wearing, again, I'm wearing the Tommy linen shirt and linen shorts just over the top of this Ale Alexandra Miro bikini. It's so beaut. Only because my Tommy one that I was wearing earlier in the pool is all wet. So I've had to swap bikinis. Um, Tommy shades and then a little Carhartt hat because I wanted this kind of colour to match with this. Um, and then I've got my little Aweve bag. 
my little beach bag from the way they. I always like to take this with all my bits and bobs in it. And then, sandals of the day. I have these really simple but chic ancient Greek sandals, just really, really comfy. This is the outfit of the afternoon. Holiday. This breeze is so nice today. The breeze is amazing. In the shade. If you had the breeze in the sun, you would burn. I'm all sun creamed up. This is where we were last night. We've come back again for lunch. I'm going to gazpacho, some crispy halloumi fries, and Alex has a Caesar wrap and chips. <sighs> Quiet zone. Nap time zone. So I'm just going to nap for a few hours. Okay, right, getting ready for the evening. Seeing as I'm wearing green this evening, I'm gonna wear this Anastasia Beverly Hills again. A little bit more of that. It's just such a pretty colour. Do a tiny bit more mascara. I don't think I've done that up since we got back in. Yeah, I'm literally, I'm literally just doing makeup, over makeup from the day. That'll do. Maybe like a mosquito bait, but some Narcisa Rodriguez Moscoma. This is one of my new Holland Cooper dresses. This is the emerald green. Honestly, I was amazed how many of you love this dress. Like, I really had no idea that this dress would fly the way it did, but this was the most popular dress by a mile, which is unbelievable. Like, so many of you have bought this dress, the emerald dress. You might not be able to see very well, but it's like a dark emerald green, and then it has the gold straps and then the VM initial. So I wore the white version a few days ago and we also do it in this beautiful emerald green. I'm amazed how many of you loved it so much. It is amazing. I'm just gonna wear, over the top of this, I'm just gonna wear a really lightweight cover up. Again, because it is a bit more windy tonight. It's a really nice temperature for once. So I thought I would just throw this really sweet, um, it's like a silky sort of shirt blouse. So I would kind of wear this over top might look quite cute pulled together oh yes i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna tie this in a sweet little bow to pull it all together in the middle so it's just like a really relaxed shirt but it just means i'm also a little bit more covered up around here for mosquitoes because honestly the amount of mosquito bites on my legs is ridiculous um this little white shirt this is tommy hill figure again but what a great shirt it's so beautiful like lightweight silky feel Easy white shirt. Tonight's bag to go with the green. I'm gonna go for this cute little Kate Spade bag. Just come with the longer strap. I'm just gonna wear it on the short strap as a sweet little evening bag. It's really, really nice, this bag, actually. It's this really pretty peppermint. Yeah, it just fits loads in here. It's like super roomy. It's great. My edge of ember necklace. Perfect emerald green to go with my emerald green dress. It's the Malachite pendant. I've literally brought my entire Gaia collection with me for this trip. And I must admit, so far, I've not been wearing much jewellery because I've been enjoying being a bit more low key and not having to think about anything. But yeah, it's double sided, by the way, in case you haven't seen this. So one side is Malachite and this beautiful textured gold plating. And then on the back is a full piece of Malachite. So you can wear it either way. But look how perfect that is. Mm. Would it be overkill to also wear the earrings? I don't know if I quite need the earrings, but I will wear... If I just had my studs with me, I would wear the studs, but I've not brought the studs. I will wear my Paradise ring, though, from my Cosmos collection. The Orion ring. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. My gold and diamonds. Beautiful hoops. In fact, this whole set is from my... Gold, this is 14 karat gold, this is golden diamonds and golden diamonds and this beautiful hoop. See, they just go with everything. They're just not in your face and they're just, but they're like so beautiful. And then on this side, I just have the two diamonds in a row. Ready for the evening, nice and chilled. This is beautiful. Okay. Hello, husband. Nice outfit, nice hair. Thank you. Nice. This is lovely. It's nice, isn't it? This is Tommy as well, isn't mm. it? Wouldn't usually pick up a shirt like this, but I'm glad it does. Yeah, it's really, really nice. Mm. It's wearing out of your little white tank. It's sort of like super holiday and but chill. Holiday chill vibes. I'll but, probably roll these but still bit. wearable. 
This um, this cute little top is Tommy as well. Is it? Isn't it beautiful? It's so silky. So thought it'd be a nice little cover up for my arms so that less mozzies can get me. Yeah, my dog's getting alive. Eating alive. <laughs> okay, another fabulous setting for tonight's dinner. We're tonight's at Billy Restaurant. A moose bouche. A glass of wine. It's a shame you can't see. I should have filmed a little bit earlier, but we're literally, I mean, you can hear it. We're literally sat on the shoreline. We've ordered, like, we've ordered a cheese board. And I've ordered, ordered that. You did. Don't pretend Alex wanted the cheese board. And then um, Alex has got the ragu, and I have spinach ricotta ravioli, which is my favourite. Oh, look at this. Charcuterie, cheese, bread, olives. Thank you, mate. Honeycomb. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Good morning, guys. Good morning, husband. Oh, I'm so excited about coffee. Okay, we are gonna head to breakfast because after breakfast, we're going on a turtle snorkeling tour. Turtles, turtles. Um, yeah, we're really looking forward to set today. I have been bitten all over though, so I'm currently lumps and bumps at the moment. Um, but today's outfit for late turtle snorkeling. Um, I've done my hair like this again because not only did my hair come out amazing yesterday, this will also be great for going underwater and swimming because it will hold on my hair back. Um, my brows are just getting more and more ginger as this <laughs> trip goes on. Um, then I'm wearing a cute little Max Mara halter neck swimsuit. My cute little Tommy Hilfiger shirt and shorts. And yeah, this Max Mara um, bikini because this is probably the most non-revealing thing I've got with me. <laughs> And I don't want to have like thong bikini up my bum as I'm swimming with the turtles and someone swimming right behind me. So I'm trying to cover myself up a little bit more. So this is just a very chill day today. I am. Um, I only have my SPF on, my Clay Depot SPF and SPF on my lips. And that's it for today. So let's go see the turtles. Okay, we were, we weren't rained off, but we were weathered off of doing the snorkeling trip which is really, really gutting. The weather is just a little bit choppy and they, they did actually cancel the trip in the end, but I was even like, I, my seasickness will never stand up to this, <laughs> to this choppiness. Like anything with water where it's like this, I'm just like, Mwah. so um, yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately we didn't get to go on the snorkeling trip. So we've just been chilling actually just in the, in the villa. But we're just gonna head now to the beach and just lay on the beach for an hour or so before our spa treatments. We have a spa treatment, um, at 2.30 and we've kind of got time to kill so it's going to go lay on the beach for a little bit. My little Tommy, Tommy denim shorts I've just turned up a little bit. In fact, I'm not even taking the tags off this yet. I can just take the tags off this quickly. Um, yeah, and then my little Carhartt hat and I've just braided my hair again because the fact that I don't have to do my hair and it's heatless is making me really happy. So also how long is it? And you can really see how, how brown it is here. That's nice. Hello. We're heading over here. This is the spa. So we need to head back to here for our spa treatments. We went to the wrong spa. There were two spas. We're now in the second spa, which is the overwater spa. But I thought they were both overwater. But anyway, this is another overwater spa. So I'll show you this one, but we're so excited for these treatments. Look at this treatment room. And then you have the treatment and you can look down through this. Okay, you're all gonna think I've lost my mind for this one, but I am wearing a full black velvet jumpsuit, practically. This is tonight's look. Um, yeah, full black velvet jumpsuit. All in the name of shooting these glasses. It's our final, technically our final like campaign project to shoot while we're here for this uh, for Versace eyewear. So we're shooting this look, so it's a full Versace look, black velvet top into these incredible black velvet trousers. Like, I absolutely love it. It is such a cool outfit. It's just 32 degrees outside. I, when I first thought of this, I was like, oh, that would be fantastic to shoot in the Maldives. It would be beautiful, we'd get some gorgeous shots. And then wasn't thinking I was wearing all black. I also have this spectacular Versace blazer, but there's absolutely no way I can wear that too because I will literally boil to death. So instead I'm just gonna have that in the shot. The eyewear is beaut. They're like a deep purple with the Versace Medusa 
on the sides. They're awesome, aren't they? I'm going to get my oh, prescriptions put in. Yeah, they're a deep purple. Oh, cool. They're lovely, aren't they? I'll have this like draped on the back of the chair, get like a drink, have another Saatchi bag, and then we'll just do some, do some shots. <laughs> What's happened to me? We managed to get That's some... sparkly you are. I know. <laughs> we, we managed to get some killer pictures. I'm so happy with them. And then literally two seconds later, this happened. It is torrential weather. Look out to sea. <laughs> My beautiful hair is now gone. However, we got the pictures. We're going to head quickly back to our room, change, and then when it subsides, come back out again for our dinner. <laughs> oh my god, I've never experienced anything like it. We literally had to just run it out of that buggy. What is going on? I just run out of that buggy. Oh, Alex is outside. Are you okay? It's like literally being in a shower. <laughs> I was out there for like five seconds. <laughs> I'm so okay. Absolutely madness. I've never seen <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? I actually thought the buggy was going to like fly off the end of the jetty then. It was so windy. Typhoon moment. <laughs> Absolutely madness. So we made it to dinner. We braved the weather again. Luckily the rain stopped, but the wind is madness. I genuinely thought the buggy was going to fly off the side of the jetty. <laughs> We've made it to our evening meal at Ufa, which is the Chinese um, Chinese restaurant on the island. And uh, we've just got our starters. Prawns and a wasabi mayo. You've got, oh yeah, the Maldivian hot and sour soups. You love a good soup, don't you? Hey guys, second to last day today. Uh, it's already like halfway through the day and I just haven't filmed anything yet because I've been having like a full relaxation day. No makeup, no work, no anything. We've literally been by the beach all day and we did some snorkeling. I'll insert that now. Some beautiful fish, like that shoal of fish was so cool. And you can still see all the snorkeling marks on my face. I really like indent easily. My entire face just indents. Whenever I have massages, it's always so bad. So we had a fantastic time. And then we've just been laying out on the beach. So today has just been full on chill. Absolutely nothing but chill. I think I'm gonna get ready soon. Just put on a little bit of light makeup, like a little holiday face. And I reckon me and Alex will probably just go to the bar area and sit out and just get pina coladas and a few cocktails and just sit and just chat and waste away the day. So we came back earlier and a lovely guy that cleans our villa has made this for us. This must have taken him so long to put together. Like he's even like cut pieces here and it's so perfectly Everything's like so symmetrically done. I mean, what a sweet thing to do. And he's got all these little petals. It's all beautifully done. He's even, oh my gosh, I just realized he's even cut out the happy holiday. I mean, how absolutely sweet is that? The light today is beautiful. It's been such a glorious day. It's just a lot more windy. That just means that if you go in the sun, you're like, oh, it's not that hot today. And actually it's completely deceiving. I seem to have burnt my shin bone literally just my shin seems to be burnt and i know when i've done it it's literally been when we've been walking from the villa to the um to the ocean to sit down which is probably like a four minute walk i think it's then because i hadn't put on my sun cream on my legs at that point yeah so i've burnt my shin bone ridiculous but i'm just glad it's not my face my face is being very well treated with the new clay de po outfit of the night 
how slightly burned here. I don't understand how I've managed to do that. Tonight's outfit is this beautiful Alexandra Miro dress. Absolutely stunning, the way it kind of pulls in at the middle with this little, little hook. Um, it's so gorgeous and flattering the way it comes around the sides. So pretty. And then for a touch of jewellery, I feel like I haven't really worn much jewellery this trip. These are my vintage Chanel earrings. I got them from Susan Kaplan. And I'm sure I saw the other day she put out a story saying that she's just got another pair. She's just found another pair, just like these. So if you love these and you've not been able to find them from a vintage seller, um, I'll leave a link down below for them, just in case she still has them. They're amazing. They're such like a big statement piece. I'm not wearing a necklace. But I must admit, I'm, I, I love this dress for the evening, but the one dress I haven't worn yet for the evening is a blue dress I have. Also brought, there it is. This beautiful silky blue dress from the row. Maybe I might just go with that, just something super simple. And I will be taking out my hair. I just want it to dry a little bit longer so I don't have to style it. And then when it's dry, I can take it out and it'll look all pretty. I changed and I asked Alex's opinion and he said to go for this dress. So, tonight's evening look, this beautiful blue slinky slip dress from the row. It's just so like, understated and beautiful. It's that kind of dress that I reckon in like 20, 30 years I'll still have it because it just, it's such like a real robust silk. It's really, really nice. Um, yeah, I'll be taking out my hair suit as soon as it's a bit more dry. Got my earrings. And then I'm also wearing these gorgeous Jimmy Choo's that have the gold chain, the thick gold chain strap around the ankle. I feel like the, the lilac of the shoes so lovely with this dress. And this little Prada bag. Yeah, so, out for date now. Look at this, this is on its way in. <laughs> we're holding out, we've just ordered more wine and beer. So we're holding out to the very last minute that we have to leave the beach. <laughs> Look at it, it's like looming, it's getting closer and closer and closer. Good morning everybody, it's our last day. It's our last day in paradise, but we have had the most amazing holiday. It's been unbelievable. I'm absolutely obsessed though with this holiday hair that I've been doing. This again, literally from plaiting it. So I plaited it yesterday when it was after the shower and I put like product in it and then I just let it dry and overnight let it dry. And now it looks like this. I've put like oils through it. I've like tamed my flyaways and it just looks like Amazing mermaid hair. I'm just obsessed with this. Today's little outfit for breakfast is so pretty. This is a Max Mara cover-up. It's like a shirt dress cover-up. Underneath, I've just got my Alexandra Miro bikini top. This is honestly such a beautiful shape. Such a gorgeous sweetheart neckline. Goes with everything. Like, it just seems to look so pretty under everything. It looks a bit like a bralette. So underneath this, it looks so, so nice. Um, again, I've just done such a light coat of makeup, just because I don't really want anything on my skin, but SPF. And yeah, and then my hair just looks so pretty. I'm doing this at home. I'm going to be doing this at home. So I know that I've been wearing like pigtails this whole trip, which probably isn't everyone's favourite hairstyle, but actually it's what's leading me to get this like heatless curl. Right guys, I think I'm going to close this vlog out almost in the exact same outfit that I started the vlog in, I think. Um, it's our last day today and we're just gonna chill out, but it's also the worst weather day, unfortunately. It's, it's windy and it's overcast. We've been quite lucky in that this is, the, our last day is like the worst day it's been. I know we've had like the crazy storms, but they've always been like in the evening and it's always been quite kind of magical to see it and it's never really ruined the day. Whereas today we're kind of at a loss of knowing what to do with ourselves. Um, so I think we're just gonna go over to the bar and get a couple of drinks and just kind of try and enjoy the last day of our holiday, which I'm sure we will. It'll be amazing, I'm sure. So I'm gonna head to the bar in this beautiful Tommy shirt. Again, it's such a great overlay and it is a little bit cooler today because there isn't any sunshine really so this beautiful shirt um, over the top of this really lovely Max Mara swimsuit it's great and if you like thong style swimsuits you will love this it is literally a full-on like thong vibe swimsuit but it's gorgeous with this like detachable belt you don't have to leave you don't have to keep that on and also you can change these to make these more halter neck if you want as well um, and then my Tommy shorts as well very light face just SPF some of my Anastasia, Beverly Hills, Nectar. And that's kind of it, really. So, 
I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. I'll leave everything down below that I have worn because it's been a lot of gorgeous outfits and I hope you've liked them all. Um, big thank you to Tommy Hilfiger for sponsoring this vlog. We're both so proud to work with Tommy. And yeah, I really hope you've enjoyed another Maldives vlog. I know you guys seem to love these vlogs when I do them, so I really hope you've enjoyed it. And I've been watching back the footage and it's just a really happy vlog, so I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.